This is the book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kadash. The bonus to the apostles, you nailed as a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And this scripture is one of my favorite scriptures right here. And it's plain. All right, hit straight to the point. I'll read it again. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And the only people that's calling out this BS, right, this vexing BS, this wickedness are the men of the Lord. All right. We are standing up for the name of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. We are establishing judgment in the gate and let it be let, letting it be known of what. The Most High and His only begotten Son, who the world only calls God and Jesus Christ, with true names, or Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, of what 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 it is that they accept, and what it is that they don't accept, nor will tolerate. All right. This is what we are letting the world know. As men of the Lord, as servants to prophets, all right? And we are standing up against the world, the world of wickedness, the world of perverseness, perverseness, the world of, of you know, a, a backwards mindset. And what I mean by backwards or contrary to Yahweh Vashim Yahweh Shai, anything that is contrary to Yahweh Vashim Yahweh Shai. We are standing up against that. We are standing uh, uh, firm and bold on that. Because the rest of the world has nothing to say. The rest of the world wants to be politically correct. The rest of the world wants to fit in with the world. The rest of the world don't want to offend anyone. Where we, the men of the Lord, we don't give a damn if you get offended or if you get angry or if you get emotional. We can care less because our job as men of the Lord, as servants to prophets, is to warn you. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1, and it reads, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins okay so as you're commanded to go to the highways and byways to push to preach or prophesy this word you're also to what to rebuke to exhort with all long suffering and doctrine and in doing that you are correcting people you are telling people what you're doing is off if you're eating unlawful food such as catfish shrimp and lobster you're going off repent if you're if you are committing, you know, um, homosexual homosexuality acts, right? Lesbian acts, rebellious, out of order acts against the ways of the Heavenly Father. You are out of order. You are going off. Repent or be destroyed. And we stand firm on that. Right. See. We, we, we're not here to play games with you people, man. A lot of you people say, oh, well, if you deliver the message in a different type of way, maybe what people will listen. We don't I, look. We don't give a damn if you listen. Scripture says whether y'all hear or forbear, meaning whether y'all listen or not, whether y'all hearken or take heed or not. The message is sent out. The warning is given. At the end of the day, the warning is given. The warning has been given. And if you rejected that warning, so be it. Blood is off my hands. Stop. It's the book of Ezekiel 33 verse 1. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say to them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take 
a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. If he if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people that whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take if not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood should be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood should be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see if to see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and take and the people be not warned. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at that watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word of my mouth and warn them from me. And this is what we are, we are doing. Okay? We are warning you from the mouth of Yahweh Shai. But see, you people want it another way. You people want it a way of where you want the Heavenly Father himself to come down to sit and speak to you, right? On, on your bedside and say, you know what? You know what, J-Rock? I don't think it was a wise decision for you to go over uh, Big Booty Judy's house knowing that is, that is Bloody Ra Ra's woman and sleep with her while he's doing whatever the hell he's doing in the streets. You know what, Jamal? Maybe you shouldn't, you shouldn't be uh, out there on the corner slanging rocks all day. The Lord is not going to tell you that. See, the, that's where the men of the Lord come in, the counsel of the Lord, to say, you know what? Smoking is off, right? Selling drugs is off. That goes back to witchcraft. You see, smoking goes into defiling your temple. Committing a, adultery is unlawful. The men of the Lord are going to tell you that. You see? But you people don't take heed. Verse 8 says, When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but the blood, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, and if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. All right. So our job is to come out there and to warn you. All right. It's to warn you. And that's what we do. Okay. And, uh, you know, just this lesson just roused up uh, in me through the spirit, man. You know, the, the things we see, man, it's, it's, it's freaking vexing, man. You know? It's, a, it's, per, it's, 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 it's vexing. It's annoying. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere you go, everywhere you turn. Even the TV commercials, vexing. Got a whole bunch of madness on there. You know what I'm saying? Different movies, TV shows, everything you turn on, they, always, they, 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 they fuse some type of freakism in it, man. You walk outside into the world, just to do your daily activities, just freakism popping off. You at the job site, freakism popping off. Whether it be, you know, the, the freakism that you see the, the, the people doing and, and that you know that they're about. Order, order a conversation, man. To the point where it's like, man, shut up, man. Shut up. Sick of you people, man. Sick of you people and your, your freaking opinions. Sick of you people that want to play politically correct. You you scared to hurt feelings, man. Screw all that, man. Because when it, when it comes about when it's come to teaching His word, Lord don't care about no feelings, man. Proverbs 11 verse 3 says the integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors 
shall destroy them. Uh, oh my goodness, I should have just uh, stayed in Ezekiel, right? <laughs> Uh, Ezekiel 9 verse 9, it says, then, then said he unto me, the iniquity of the house of Israel in Judah is exceedingly great. And the land is full of blood and the city full of perverseness. For they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth and the Lord said not. Hey, that's the mindset of our people, man. You know, promoting wickedness at an all time high. Acting in wickedness at an all time high. Being the leader of it, being the face of it. Jake always want to be the face of shit. But it's the face of wickedness. Jake don't want to be the face of righteousness. Jake don't want to represent the, 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 the true God of the, the Bible, man. You know? Jake don't want to do that. See, Jake want to represent filthiness, perverseness, as I was going into. You know what I'm saying? Not, not mannerism as, as kings and priests. As princesses, you know, as, as the, the daughters of Zion, as a, as a, as a uh, beautiful, modest woman. Jake don't, Jake, mm -mm. Jake ain't on that. Jake want to be the face of trap, which is drug dealing. Jake want to be the face of, uh, uh, you know, the LGBTQ community. You know what I'm saying? Jake want to be the face of everything else, you know. Oh, boy, man. Isaiah 30, verse 12, it says, Wherefore, saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise his word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. So ultimately, you people that are, uh, you know, in this mind frame, okay, and you think you're going to continue in this mind frame, right? Your ending is not going to be too good, man. Matter of fact, your ending is going to be death and destruction. That's what your ending is going to be. And see, this is what we tell you and you get mad at us about it. Like I said, but the hell with your emotions. We got to put up with your BS every day, all day. Your madness. You see, and the word is going out, man. So ju heavy judgment is about to visit you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Heavy judgment. And we can't wait. Shalom.